The Warriors improved to 16-2 with a 20-point victory over the Philadelphia 76ers, 116-96. Now, I'll be honest, I was at the Sacramento Kings game tonight, but I did check the score of this game periodically. I got ESPN updates. I knew what was going on. The Warriors faced a lot of adversity in this game. I mean, they were down by double digits in this game multiple times. And I saw this crazy stat line. Every game this season, the Warriors have been um, down by double digits. They have won that game. So they are such a clutch team coming back in circumstances that seem impossible to come back in. Um, Steph Curry matched up against his brother, Seth Curry, which was uh, really interesting because both actually had really good games. Uh, you know, obviously, Seth Curry, a lot of talent there. 24 points for him. Steph had 25, so similar game. But Curry, uh, Steph and Curry had 10 assists. A uh, great game from Andrew Wiggins, 19 points for him, 10 points from Draymond, uh, 17 from Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole hit a buzzer beater half court shot as well, which was awesome. Juan Toscano was uh, six for six coming off the bench and had 13 points. He also had six assists and six rebounds. That was great to see. And 12 for Otto Porter Jr. I mean, that's a really deep team. You know, when you have guys who, two guys combined for 25 off the bench. I mean, that's great. Uh, the Warriors dominated in the second half. They're obviously known as, you know, one of the teams that has great third quarters. And they had 34 points in the third quarter tonight, which was obviously a lot and really propelled them over the top. Um, but, you know, this game, it was about all about, like, you know, trial and error. They were down by a lot. They were down by as much as, you know, 15 points at certain times. And then they would, you know, chip away and they would come back and they eventually won it. They went off on defense in the fourth quarter holding philly to just uh 12 points and they got 30 i mean that's crazy uh but yeah i mean the warriors are just unstoppable i think you know they're just their first place in the nba you really can't ever count them out and you know this is before clint thompson comes back this is just blows my mind you know how good of a team they are um they the biggest deficit in this game was 19 points and they beat the sixers when it was all said and done by 20 points uh, obviously with a 20 point victory and now they moved to 16 and two, they're great at coming back. I mean, this was the largest deficit. They were down this entire season and, uh, they still won. So it's just incredible that they did this. Um, great game from Draymond Green. I liked that. Wiggins did good. Uh, Kevon Looney actually did pretty good as well. I like to see, you know, how he did because obviously he's not a big point scorer. He's a center, but he had a lot of good defense steals and blocks, um, which was good to see. He was three for six shooting. Cur uh, Stephen Curry had a good game as well. Nine for 16 shooting th um, in 35 minutes. Uh, six for 11 on three is pretty good. I like to see that. Jordan Poole, obviously, 47 foot shot. That was incredible. That's the kind of stuff that got momentum going. Because at that point, the Warriors were losing. And, you know, they looked a lot better coming out of that. Um, it was good to see, you know, some of the bench guys. Obviously, Juan Toscano Anderson had an amazing game in this game. In this game, he you know, just absolutely tore things up when he was on the court. Obviously, he's a bench player, but I think he has a lot of capability of being worked into that lineup. And he still had, you know, more points than Kavon Looney, who was a starter, and he was on the, and obviously JTA was on the bench uh, to start the game. So, I mean, Warriors are just using their bench really well. That's something that a lot of teams can't do. Um, and uh, they're going to play the Trailblazers uh, next game. And uh, Trailblazers, obviously, I was at the game. They came off a loss against the Kings. So, you know, it should be a win. But um, Warriors just got to keep rolling. It's been looking great. I think they're just going to keep rolling with this really good lineup. Um, for the Sixers in this game, obviously, their leading scorer was Seth Curry. Uh, they had a pretty good game, though, from Tyrese Maxey at the other guard position. He had 19 points. Danny Green had 10 off the bench. But besides that, obviously, they don't, uh, Joel, they don't have Joel Embiid. And they don't have uh, Ben Simmons right now, so that's obviously they're like they're struggling without them. And they were a very good team last year, and they're not where they were where they were. Um, but anyways, I mean, Warriors won by 20 points. It's, I love seeing that. They got to keep this going. I'm loving the way they started this season. I mean, 16 and two through 18. We'll see how they go through 20 because um, they're gonna play the Blazers and then Clippers. I think if they could be uh, twenty or if they could be eighteen and two through twenty games, that'd be great. But um, we'll see what happens. So yeah. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later. Go Warriors.